Welcome back to Blar. Here's a game, Costume Party Assassins by Playroom Entertainment. So I bought this for $2.50. So here's what it's going to look like. Some cards with some blood splatter on it. 20 unique character figures. Uh, got a play time on here. It's a pretty short game. So I'll unbox it here. Instructions. It says <laughs> very short. All right, you gotta set up the game board, then we'll go through gameplay. So let's see what it looks like first. Your cards: guest, doctor, zombie, uh, rock star, mummy, princess, Sherlock, geologist, gangster. So there's just random people at this costume party. These are meeples that match all the cards. It's a nice, big, colorful board. You got red, green. Uh, the common area here is the gray. So, what you're going to do is. I won't be there. Uh, these people are going to be set out everywhere. So it says here, the rival assassins have been invited to the same costume party. Because of the, of the elaborate costumes, you don't know who is anyone's identity is except your own. Roam the party, mingle, have some fun, and try to <laughs> assassinate all your rivals. Be the last assassin party in, and you win. Okay, we've got all our contents. It's all here. I've played this once. <coughs> There's a setup. Place the game board, to the location. All right, easily reached by all players. Uh, randomly distribute 20 characters to each room. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll do the whole thing, why not? Because it's a pretty short game. Characters here. I'm gonna separate the dice. And you can just put them everywhere you want. Uh, I'm gonna put them like this so you can see who's who. They would just stand up like that, but kind of hard to see. So we'll put them like this so we can see who's where. It's also a little faster. All right, so everyone's at the party. So this is two to six players, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Show up the character cards. Deal one card to each player. Do not reveal your character card to anyone. After looking at it, keep it face down in front of you. Place the rest of the deck character cards next to the board. These are the innocent party goers. Okay. So you take your card, you shuffle them up. Uh, we'll do like a two player setup here. I'm sure it's more fun with more than two players, so look at that. Look at this. So we are a Hulu dancer. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna pick somebody. I don't want to be the Hulu dancer. We're gonna be... We're gonna be... We're gonna be Sherlock. You don't get to pick them, this is random, but whatever. Alright, so say we got Sherlock. That's what we're going to say. Uh, they have their card face down in front of them. You don't see it. It's face down in front of you. Cards to the side. Alright. Okay, the player who has the next birthday goes first. Blah, blah, blah. On your turn, <clears throat> you roll the dice. Get your dice, you roll it. So black. All right, it says, if you roll the room color, blue, yellow, red, or green, move a character figure. See, moving character, look at that. If you roll black, you have two choices. Kill the character that is in the same room as your secret character. See, killing a character. Draw the top card of the character deck, reveal it, remove the corresponding character figure from the board. That character has left the party. Place the card face up in front of you. So <clears throat> 
and the character figure back into the box. Once you have three faces up in front of you, you can no longer have the option to draw a card. You must kill the character. So, we roll a black. So we can draw from the pile. Or we can kill someone in the room. So we have Sherlock. So Sherlock is here. So there's a lot of people in this room. So since there's a lot of people, you may want to knock someone off. Alright, so killing a character. Well, moving a character. You may move a character figure on the board into an adjacent room. You must move a character either into the room of the color you rolled or out of the room you color you rolled. For example, if you roll blue, you can move a character from any adjacent room into the blue room or move any character out of the blue room into an adjacent room. So, <clears throat> say we rolled green since we're here. You can take your character and move them out. I can move a character from an adjacent room, yellow or red, into the room. Killing a character. When you kill a character, when you kill a character, you must kill a character that is located in the same room as you are, as your secret character. So this is us. So we're here. Simply remove the chosen character figure from the board and place it back in the game box. If you remove another player's character, that player must reveal his or her card and is eliminated from the game. Players that have not been eliminated from the game must not talk about other players' identities. If character is only one in the room, you must. If your character is the only one in the room, you must kill yourself. You're out of the game. So don't be alone in the room. End of the game. The game is over when only one player's character remains on the board. That player is the winner. All right, so that's easy enough. So <clears throat> we're in here. So we roll black. So we can draw a card. There's a lot of people in here. We're just gonna remove the mummy. He goes back into the, the board. I mean, you just throw them in the box, but so I'm gonna clean up anyway. I'm gonna put them back in here. All right, and then so this person is a clown. So we didn't kill the clown, so they're still in it. So two, and then it will be their turn. We roll a green. Uh, we have to find the clown. The clown is over here in the red. <clears throat> but since you rolled a green, they can they can move into the green. There's only one person in here, so they may want to move. We'll say Frankenstein into the red room with them, and then it goes back to you. You roll. You have black. So we're here. We have a lot of people to choose from, but say we don't do the other option, and the other option we roll black is to draw a card. So the hula dancer is down here in yellow so she gets to leave the party she's safe okay and then this goes in front of you and once you have three in front of you you can't draw a card anymore all right so that would be in front of your character um the gray is neutral let's say address that uh i don't don't think so Yeah, I believe it's a neutral and you just pass through it. I don't know. Maybe I skipped it. Anyway, that's the premise of the game. You're trying to kill all the other players. <clears throat> Make sure you don't get got yourself. Get your secret character card in front of you. All you know. And you keep rolling to eliminate characters. Or you get to leave. So, so you roll red. Um, red's here. You can move your character into here. If you want to try to... If you think you know another player is in here, so maybe you want to do that because you only can kill someone in the room you're in with. So, we roll again. It'll be the clown's turn. You roll yellow, so you have to go to yellow and figure out who you want to move in or out. Um, let's move Safari into green. It's getting very populated over here. And so on and so on. So, uh, red. So, I am in the room. So I don't know, it's just by process of elimination, like if you're gonna figure out if you think you're in the room with the other person. So say by a deduction, say all these characters are pretty much gone already, have left the party or been assassinated. And you have these three to choose from. You're like, okay, I'm gonna get the clown. They reveal it was a clown, they're out of the game. It's only a two player game, the game is over, you won. And that's how the game works. Costume party, assassination, assassins. Um, kind of odd that it's such a bright, excuse me, <laughs> it's kind of odd to me that it's such a brightly colored game. It's like a fun setting, but you're 
uh, killing all these people. And there's like blood splatter all over these cards. But not, not the worst thing. Two dollars fifty cents. I'm not mad that I picked it up. Uh, that's costume party assassins. Uh, if you like this game or games like this, let me know in the comments. Be sure to hit that like and comment and subscribe. There, I said it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Have a good day or night, wherever you are.